Quick look at the windows. Half inch Lexan. It's got screws every inch. I've left a slight gap all the way around the glass so that I can get uh, my epoxy inside here to seal the glass and to seal, seal it airtight. And uh, get you some more looks at the box. You can see it's all double layered everywhere. I made, I made the pieces interlock for twice the amount of glue surface so that the piece the piece locks in right through here. The plan's called for this second piece to be up here, but then you would only get you would only get one glue joint from there by locking the offset like that. This piece will slide in there. And so you now you'll get a glue surface here and here in an L shape and it'll lock the box all together super strong. Uh, we got the same deal going on with the back glass piece. It, it's got that same inset that'll lock it all together. Quick look at the box I'm calling the Fort Knox box for the way that it's, how sturdy that it's built. It's double birched frame and back. Everything is inset for double glue surface area. You can see the back port walls are shaped around for airflow. We also have another divider to channel the air uh, into the ports, uh, corners, half inch Lexan. Just look at the front. It's going in a Dodge Charger and it'll have another trunk wall. So when he folds his seats down, this is what the this is what he'll have. You see how we attach the glass with screws every one inch apart, then uh, epoxied for a super tight gap. Look at the port. And we're going to put the top on this, get it clamped up tonight, do a little sanding on it, sand everything back nice and straight, and this box will be ready for the guy to be, to get installed. The, win the windows are centered perfectly on the back of the sub. All in all, tight little box.